While the crowds keep growing out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway as the weather has shined on the last couple of days of practice, Friday's session giving drivers another chance to gear up for qualifying. WRTV's Brad Brown is at IMS with a look at some of the action. It certainly feels like the week is flying by, not unlike these cars are flying by here on Fast Friday. One of the final opportunities for these teams to tune up before qualifying begins this weekend. And we get ready to set the field for this 108th running of the Indianapolis 500. As we get set to move into qualifying on Saturday and Sunday, let's start toward the top of the field with none other than the defending race winner, Joseph Newgard. Not a ton of talk about him this week, but he has been fast. In fact, here on Fast Friday, he turned the first lap of the week over 234 miles an hour. Of course, New Garden and his team got caught up in a little turmoil a few weeks ago. That disqualification from an illegal push to pass function from the start of the season at St. Pete. So he has to shuffle his roster a little bit behind the scenes with this number two team as they get ready to head into the biggest race of the year. But New Garden trying to become the first back-to-back -back Indy 500 champion in more than two decades, confident in what he has to offer as the big day in May approaches. I think you hope you show up here and you've done all the hard work. I mean, that's really what needs to be done. Um, it's difficult to show up here during right on the month and say, okay, let's try and build fast race cars. I mean, you had to do that the last year. So I think we've shown up with the cars we've got. You know, we feel really good about the work we've put in. We had a wild ride earlier today for one of the rookies in the field, the 19-year-old from California, Nolan Siegel. This was around 2 p.m. this afternoon going into turn two, and the driver for Dale Coyne Racing simply got loose, then gets a little air under the car, and it turned into an upside-down ride just past the turn two suites. Now, that Indy car got a chance to show off its safety as well. He ended up on top of that aero screen, slid the better part of four or 500 yards in it, but Siegel was able to get out of the car just fine. His first time around this track in the Indy 500 and afterwards trying to figure out exactly what happened. Uh, I got down to the apex and got a wiggle and, and knew it wasn't going to be good uh, but at that point you're pretty committed. You know, you've committed to the turn in. If you lift, you spin and if you don't lift, you apparently spin as well, so um, <laughs> it wasn't a good situation to be in. So now we'll shift gears to Saturday for the start of qualifying. A couple of numbers to keep in mind are 12 and 4. The fastest 12 and the slowest 4 will come back on Sunday for the three spots in the last row and the fight for the pole position and those all-important front row spots as we work our way toward race day. At the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Brad Brown, WRTV Trackside.